some good news today in housing. The S&P Case Schiller Home Price Index showing a month-to-month -month rise in home prices in April. That is the first time that has happened in eight months. House prices in the 10-city index jumped eight-tenths of a percent, while prices in the 20-city composite increased seven-tenths of a percent. What is behind this little mini surge in spring home buying? How big is it? Joining us for an exclusive Power Lunch in interview is Margaret Kelly, the Chief Executive Officer of Remax. Ms. Kelly, welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. Great to be here. Now, admittedly, these numbers are small, right? but they must be welcome. They are very welcome. But, but I want to clarify one thing. The Case Schiller, Schiller is a wonderful report, but it actually is looking at May numbers. What we do, we have a housing report ourselves, and we have, have been looking at current numbers, June numbers, May numbers, and so on. And actually, for the last three months, we've had a price increase, the last being 3.8%. So do you think that when you take those Case Schiller numbers and the numbers from your own, is this market starting to turn up, or are we just still coasting on the bottom? We call it a sawtooth. Basically, it's going to be up and down for a while, probably the next year or so. But are we going to have any major corrections? No. But we're going to bump along the bottom for a little while. But we're seeing some positive things out there. What, one thing to clarify, though, is when you look at the median home price, that is nothing more than taking the homes that sold that month mm -hmm. and what was the median amount. What we have to do is loosen up the higher end of the market, the, the higher end homes, and what you're going to see is that price go up. How do you how do you talk to people or, um, who are wondering whether or not a home is a good investment anymore? Uh, you, we have a record amount of foreclosures. Uh, we have a lot of homes that simply take a long time to sell. And the debate right. that's out there right now is perhaps owning a home is not the investment that it used to be. And you also have some in Congress saying eliminate the mortgage deduction oh. for people who earn X amount of money, which, if you live on the East Coast or the West Coast, includes most of the population. So make the argument that, that buying a home right now is a good investment. Unequivocally, yes, it is. It's a phenomenal investment. But we have to remember that it's not something you can buy and three years later flip and make 50%. People say housing got us into this recession. No, it didn't. Poor lending practices got us into this recession. Housing ended up to take the brunt of it. There were it. a lot of guilty parties <laughs> that got us <laughs> that, into this that's recession true. in in real estate, whether it was lending or the bundlers or 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 buyers who Many bought more things. house that's or, right. or let's face it, real estate agents who convinced them to buy more house than they could. And afford. lenders who who loaned money that maybe they couldn't afford. But but the fact is it's still if you get back to good lending standards, you go in a house and use it as a home. And over X period of time, then you sell. Yes, you're going to make money. But you can't buy a home, flip it before a nail is in a piece of wood, and hope to make money on that in this kind well, of market. Let me ask you a more fundamental question. There are lots of cash buyers around at the moment. There are a lot of people who are buying, I'm told, in their neighborhood because they perceive right. value locally. If they've, if they've got the cash in the bank, talk me through what your thoughts are on that. It's actually rentals, very good because think rates. of how many people are being foreclosed upon. They're not going to be able to buy homes. They're going to be renters. They're going to be ideal renters. Mm -hmm. What we found is right now 20% of the buyers out there are investors. Yeah. Of the investors, 75% of those are all cash deals. Yeah, absolutely. And so a lot of the investors are, are you and I, just normal people who are going out maybe buying their first, first investment home that they're going to fix up and they're going to rent. And they have a, a very full renter's market. Rent's with the not sell, importantly. Rent's not sell. Rent, That's not just, sell. Right. I, I want to come back to something you said at the top there, and that is where you were talking about the median price, and that what has to right. happen is that the, that houses at the high end have to unlock. Right. Does Do I then conclude that that's where the real weakness is, that high-end houses, house prices writ large, not, not, not in selected markets, are coming down, they're not selling, it's harder to sell the million-dollar-plus homes than it was or than... I wouldn't say the prices are coming down. Or it, it, what's the problem is jumbo mortgages. It's more expensive to get some of those mortgages, which is kind of constrained that end of the market. Yes, prices will ultimately come down in that area. But you have multiple things happening. You also have such a big glut of foreclosed home and distressed properties mm -hmm. out there. That's about 35% of the market. Those have to feed through the system in order for us to get back to a normal and housing market. And how long market. do you think that will take? How long is it going to take to get rid of that overhang? It depends on what the number is. There's this mythical shadow inventory out there. Homes that are, are in some process of foreclosure that have not gone into the multiple listing service. I've read anywhere from you know 1.7 million to 2 to 3 million. 
It depends on how many and how fast it hits the market. But I would say that probably over the next two years or so, you're going to see that work its way through the inventory. The good thing about the investors that I talked about, 20% of the buyers are investors, that's a good sign. The higher that number goes, it means the prices have stabilized. Investors don't jump in the market unless that price is at, at a good bottom. Okay. Margaret, thank you very much. And Remax sells more real estate than anybody in the world, right? <laughs> you got it. That's what